Can you remember a time when you're with your family and you're on the beach and you're burying your dad in the sand and he looks like a big fat whale? Me too. So I want to share with you now a difficult time in my life and I was 16 and I remember being driven by my mum into the English countryside and I've got that familiar feeling in my stomach. You know when your stomach just churns? Yeah, I was feeling that. And we pull up into the car park, I get out of the car, and I walk towards the gates, and I'm visiting my dad in prison. And I remember thinking, but my dad in prison? And it just didn't add up. But like many of us, I just kept my feelings to myself, didn't I? I just stuffed them down and carried on as normal. But from then, that is when the spark inside me was born. And I just really, really wanted to know, why is it that people commit crime? And most of all, I just really wanted to help them. And if I'm honest, I just wanted to rescue my dad. And so I became a probation officer. My name is Sarah Edwards, and I'm here today to share with you a powerful alternative to dealing with people who've committed crime. It's our job as probation officers to understand the thoughts, the patterns and feelings in someone's behaviour and help them change so that they don't re-offend. Now, I want to share with you a story of someone who I worked with as a probation officer. Now, I want you to imagine this. Imagine it's late at night and you're in the local takeaway store and the people next to you, they start getting annoyed and they start shouting at you. They start shouting abuse and the abuse gets racist. And inside, you're starting to get that familiar feeling. Your palms are sweating, your body starts shaking, and the anger is bubbling up inside you. And perhaps you start to feel triggered from past family abuse. And perhaps you start to get triggered from past bullying. And perhaps you start to feel unworthy, inferior, and unloved. And in that moment, all you want to do is just really, really get to them. And before you know it, you've stabbed one of them in the chest. Now, I know that we've all had familiar feelings like that. I know I felt like that. We are so angry, we just want to punch someone in the face, but we don't. But we judge those who do before we know the full story. So I want to share with you the full story. I want you to imagine what it feels like growing up without having your dad, trying to make sense of multiple different labels, ADHD, OCD, autism, being bullied at school, and then being removed from mainstream school because you struggled, trying to make sense of your emotions, and then finding yourself, age 19, having stabbed someone, and you're in prison. And the criminal justice system would respond by putting you, one of the 11.5 million people in the world, in prison, where you may go on an offending behaviour programme to learn how to develop new thoughts, patterns, beliefs and behaviours. But did you know the world reoffending rate is 20 to 50%? So something's telling me there's something not working. It's like watching a toddler put those triangle pieces into the square toy. They're so, so fixated on making that fit that they're not looking over here. And I do get it, thinking-based behaviour programmes, they have their place. But in my experience of working with prisoners, they're triggered by classroom-based learning. So how can we expect them to learn in a classroom-based setting how to develop new thoughts, behaviours and patterns, beliefs? And did you know that 47% of prisoners in England and Wales have ADHD. So isn't it time we think about a new way to help people in prison rehabilitate? Now what if there was a method that could relieve anxiety, anger, aggression and frustration? And this is why I want to introduce you to ecstatic dance. Free form unconscious dance that has a powerful transformational impact on healing. 
Now, I know you want to know a bit more about ecstatic dance. So I want to share with you how I came to find ecstatic dance. So I had quit my safe and stable job as a probation officer to set up my own criminology consulting business. And I'd written a book about releasing yourself from your mental jail. And I'll be honest, I started to look pretty good on paper. But isn't that just life? When you start getting things together, life just crashes down on you. And I'd found myself a single parent to two children under two. And to say life was unbearable is an understatement. And I just needed an escape. And I remember this time when I'm standing in the budget supermarket store and I've got the trolley full of shopping, I've got the kids there, and by this point, they're just getting whingy and whining. And my heart is pounding out of my chest. And all I can think of is, is my card gonna decline? Is my card gonna decline? Is my card gonna decline? And then ping, it's approved. But my anxiety isn't relieved because I'm now trying to work out in my head, well, how much money have I got until the end of this month? And in moments like that, I can really understand, oh yeah, that is why people commit crime. And I was just so desperate for an escape from my life. So then I find myself in the middle of the English forest and I'm staring up at the tall trees and I'm surrounded by others, yet I'm bothered by their presence. And I feel so open with love, so connected to others, so high. And I'm taken on a journey through music and dance, the earth grounding bass to the euphoric highs. And I felt so high. And if it was a drug, I would be the first one pushing it to you on the streets. So why ecstatic dance? It's been researched that dance can have a powerful ability to transform your emotions. And in South East London, researchers worked on the Alchemy Project, and they worked with adolescents with early onset psychosis. And they found that those who performed dance felt connected to others, felt more of their emotions, and felt improved sense of self-esteem. And trauma therapists have used it to facilitate healing from trauma. So something tells me that dance can have a powerful ability to help from healing. So why ecstatic dance? Did you know that we have a deep desire to belong? There's a deep ancestral desire within us to belong. Now I want you to think about that time when you're 16 and all your friends were going to their first pop concert, but it was your parents that said no. Or how did it feel when you're a little kid and you're at school in the playground and you're playing playground cops and robbers and you got sent to playground jail? How did that feel? Or how about that time when you're 16 and your friends are in the park drinking alcohol and you go along with them as well, but you don't even want to be there. That deep desire to belong that's in all of us is exactly the same for those in prison. And they end up belonging more so to those who are in prison, to those on the outside. So how can we really expect them to fit into normal society? So I know you're still thinking, but yeah, why ecstatic dance? Can I ask you a question? Have you ever car danced? Have you ever had a kitchen dance party? Have you ever seen little kids just dance in the street? They feel so unrestricted, unlike us adults. Now I want you to imagine Lewis, from the beginning, who's in prison. He's stabbed someone, he's feeling frustrated, he can't escape, he's taking drugs and getting into fights. Imagine he has the opportunity to escape, to feel that little emotion called love, to feel connected to others, to feel empathy. Now imagine that he has the opportunity to take part in ecstatic dance. How do you think he's gonna respond the next time someone shouts abuse at him? And why does it even matter? 
because that could be one less person hurt by crime. That could be you, your son, your daughter, or the person sitting next to you today. So isn't it time to rethink how we think about rehabilitation methods? We know that current rehabilitation methods are not 100% successful. So isn't it time that we really consider connecting the mind, the body, the soul, and think outside of the box and tap into creativity and consider ecstatic dance as an alternative rehabilitation method? Thank you for letting me share my journey with you today. I've been Sarah Edwards. Thank you.